today's experiment, we're we're gonna be using some marshmallows to do it. But you like marshmallows? Yeah, they're really yummy, right? I like to eat them as s'mores, or or we can just eat only marshmallows. Yeah, I like them too. marshmallows of course one of our ingredients is going to be marshmallows and then we also have some cornstarch or a cup of water we're going to pour some oil okay so let's do it whoa that's a lot of bubbles in there I, um, I have lots of questions i do experiments why does oil float um, on water? So there are two reasons. The first one is that oil and water are immixable, so that means they can't be mixed. And the second reason is that oil is lighter than water, so yeah, that's why it floats on top. So now I'm just going to pour this marshmallow in here. This marshmallow is going to go skydiving. Whoa, both of them are floating. Um, now we just squish this into a ball as you can see now i'm just gonna try so first we need like just roll it in yeah just roll it in the cornstarch and then just squish it okay make it in and it, the reason uh we rolled in the cornstarch is that our hands don't get sticky because like other yeah because otherwise they would so now I made a small ball. I'm gonna drop it into the glass with oh, uh, we can see it's well lower than the first one. Mm -hmm. It's like it's sinking. Oh, it is sinking. See, wait, is it kind of like is it kind of like some anchors going down? It's. Like, do you see the current starts going down? Okay, now we're now this is the big moment. No. We are gonna drop it. Sink? It sink! So we squish this ball, and when we squish it, it will become dense. So now, without further ado, um, we're going to put it into this um, oil and see if it sinks. Whoa, it sinks! Marshmallows are light and fluffy because they are full of air. Air is less dense than water, so the marshmallows float. But when you squish the mar marshmallows, you squeeze out the air, making it denser than the water. Now the flat marshmallows will sink. The more you squish the marshmallows, the lower it will sink. Same thing in the water also. So, as you can see, I'm rolling the marshmallow. I'm putting it in cornstarch to... Uh, um, to make sure my hands don't get sticky. And like, if you look over here, you can see my, my sister has a book. Which is made out of Cor marshmallows! Between this marshmallow and this marshmallow assistant Ava. So this marshmallow is more squishy and soft. But this marshmallow isn't as squishy and lost the competition. And this one looks more fluffy, but this one is too, too no, hard. Fluffy. 
I mean, it's not that hard, right? What's the reason? It's fluffy when we microwave it because when we put it in a microwave, the water evaporates um, and the air replaces it. The air bubbles in inside marshmallows may seem empty, but they're actually full of gas molecules. The molecules are moving around, which creates pressure that pushes out on the marshmallow. Normally, these forces are balanced by the molecules moving in the air around the marshmallow. But the air pressure from the atmosphere pushes into the marshmallow. This keeps the marshmallow at a constant size. But if you can change the forces on either inside or outside the marshmallow, you can change the size of the marshmallow. In the second experiment, you heat the air inside the marshmallow. Microwave ovens don't heat the air surrounding the food. This is why you can use paper towels in a microwave, but not a regular oven. When you heat molecules, they move more quickly. This makes them hit the outside of, a reg of the marshmallow with more force and causes the marshmallow to expand. Wow. Imagine if we... Oh. Whoa. That is awesome, right? And so, this marshmallow, we didn't microwave it. This one, we microwaved it for like 20 seconds. And this one, we microwaved it for 50 seconds and you can see like the difference and like like how this one looks like compared to this one mm -hmm. sounds way flatter and squishier than these it looks it looks bird but it also looks like a pita butter sandwich so it kind of looks like see those pita butter traces gonna see which liquid the marshmallow dissolves fastest in so over here we have some more water some cold water and now we have some vinegar and coca-cola coke just like coca-cola <laughs> Watch, it has dissolved this. So, so we can see the Coke here and it's, and, and it's the same size because the Coke is full of sugar and the marshmallow and, and the marshmallow also has sugar. So for it to dissolve, um, it would take some, like it would take some time. Yeah, so, so. this one's last. Yeah, in the race. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, um, and now the vinegar. So, See the vinegar? It dissolved a bit more than the Coke, but it will also take some time to like to fully dissolve. So this might be the second, cause this one's even laster than this, I think. Yeah, this is the third. Okay, so we're gonna rank it at the most dissolved. Okay, so this, so the water's first. So this is first, second, third, fourth. Now the cold water, which is currently sitting at third place. So, um, it, I mean, it also takes some time to dissolve in the cold water. It also dissolved a bit more than the Coke. It's behind the vinegar, but um, yeah, it's at third place. Now, we come to first place champion water! We can see that since like this is kind of warm water, it didn't take that much time to dissolve. And like, and like, you can see like how much is dissolved. Like, so like, com compare this to the Coke, see? Yeah, yeah. see how much is dissolved? Marshmallows are, are are made out of gelatin, and then when we put gelatin in warm water, the gelatin molecules loosen up, 
and the sh and the sugar melts. That's why, like, when you put marshmallows in hot chocolate, they melt quickly. We tried it with Coke, vinegar, cold water, and hot water, but but you don't have to use the same liquid. You can try it with different liquids, like um uh, maybe juice or corn syrup or maple syrup. You can use like colored marshmallows or mini marshmallows or uh super big marshmallows which are colored and and like um you can see how uh how the reactions vary between them.